Hi and welcome to my channel. So today we are continuing our series. We want to create a first a first weapon and also to be attached to the character mesh. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Depending on your subscription, you're gonna have exclusive videos and you can watch the video before I publish. And also you can have all my project files from these tutorials. I can fix your box if you have your project, or I can create for you uh, animation, blueprint, anything like that. Also, complete map, maps, anything like that. Also, a game from the scratch if you want. And if you want to see all the video I have already in my Patreon channel, so you need to go to my uh, YouTube channel and go to right here in the top right and click here. So they're gonna give you all the lists where I have. So I have the exclusive videos already this, also the unpublished tutorial videos, and all the unpublished complete game videos. This already um, available for my uh, Patreon only. So if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in your project, or maybe you have some problems with the tutorial, you can write me from there because for me it's more easy to respond from my Discord channel. So if you want to send me your games or project, so uh, I can play them on the channel for free. Or if you want to have the latest news about my games and project, or you want to talk with me uh, privately or sponsorship, all you have to do is write to my email. To see my mail, you need to go to my YouTube channel go to information and all the way down they want to say in, in detail they want to say something like view my uh, email so there's they're going to be my personal email so all the money uh, raised and it will be for the creation of video games and for the youtube channel so thank you and let's start the tutorial so let's go to unreal and let's go to content in the first you know that I already have two animation here. So that is one for no weapon and also one for the knife. So that I create myself. So if you want these two animation, you have to download from my Patreon page. And you already know how to create this animation. If you don't, you need to go back to my uh, video I create in the channel. So if you don't want to create it, you can download this from my Patreon. So let's do that so now we can play play so we have this so it's already working for multiplier so i can see in third person and they can see us to the third person mess so first i don't want to be in this position i want to be in the player don't have nothing at all yet so let's put that so let's go to dp go to uh, character third person character animation animation blueprint uh, go to new state machine and go to idle so in here we want to delete this because i don't want this idle so i want to use the no weapon idle and connect this to this so now if we compound save we have this new animation so let's go to new state machine and also i want to change the run because if i don't change this when we're walking they want to change the uh, this animation i don't want to use that one so let's do the same no weapon idle so let's connect this to here and delete this so let's compound save so now if i go play now we don't see it because the hands is down so they look more similar to the character in third person it's no perfect but for now they look better we don't have weapons so we don't have to have no animation at all so use the hands down so that's perfect so let's create our first weapon so let's close this let's go to content so also we can move ah, we're gonna do it later so let's go to dp go to our weapons and we already create this structure and also the weapon enumeration so let's go to main weapon because i think i forgot something here yes so first we want to create a new variable here because i want to be able when 
when we create some tiles so we can change the the weapon type we have to different from the child so they're gonna be variable let's create a new one let's call this how we call it in here we call it weapons only okay so let's put the name so let's put weapons and let's change this to be the weapons enumeration like that so now we compound save so now every time they play it we can change this depend on we have the child is if the child is a pistol we can change this to pistol if we want to ask a rifle it want to be ask a rifle so that's perfect so uh, also we want to create a socket to be attached to the mesh for the player but our, our weapon will are absolutely free so that's why sometimes if you have only one socket in the hands for example some weapon they don't been attached to too good at that point so the best way to do it is to make a socket for each type of weapon you have so for example we have an eight type i think like for example nine pixels in like that i want to create one socket uh, separately for each one of them so let's go main weapon and create another another variable here and let's call this weapon socket so now if we change this to name compile save we can put the weapon socket the name we want to be if it's a knife they want to be the socket for the knife anything like that if it's the pistol they want to be the socket for the pistol that is more easy to understand like that so let's save this and go to first person map uh, okay so let's do that socket so let's go dp character a uh, first person character go to character mess again and go to dp first person skeleton so here you need to i want to be in the hands so they want to be hand right right here and we want to create that socket so right click and be add socket i want to call it i want to call it uh, knife socket something simple and understandable very easy to understand so knife iron knife socket so let's do put this knife here but we need a reference better than this one so let's change the and here in preview scenes thing we want to change the animation the preview controller let's change this to use a specific animation so here we want to use the dp knife iron so let's stop the animation so now we have this so this is more easy to where the knife they want to be so right in the socket right click a put add preview asset and let's choose our knife a your name but well they're gonna be like that so we can see it's not in the right place so let's move this something like that oh my so let's uh, rotate this a little bit uh, probably rotate this a little like that and also a little bit down like that it probably more close to the hand let's see how we can see not perfect but for now they're gonna be fine so if you want to put it better you can take more time than uh, I do but for me I don't wanna be take forever this tutorial so let's put like that so let's save this so now we are have our socket so that's perfect so let's close this so let's create that weapon so in character no no character dp go to weapons and here click in the main weapon right click is create child blueprint class so let's change this name for knife blueprint for now so let's open it and we can see we have already this box so that's perfect and the skeleton mesh we want to change this to our knife a so now we can see actually actually is really good 
exactly in the middle so that's well not exactly but let's move the box a little bit okay why 50 let's put it like 10 like that so let's compound save so they look a lot better okay so let's change that variable uh, i know it's it's some form to see this i don't remember how so right click uh nope maybe in here showing every variable yes like that so you need to choose the what show every variable so you can see all the event dispatcher we have and also all the variable they have from the parent so that is already awesome because sometimes i forgot that one but that's great because we can change this stuff from here so we have the weapons and we need to remember it's already knife so that's perfect and weapon socket we want to change this name because non non we want to change this to knife socket so now we have our first weapon ready so let's put this in the map so we have this knife like that how they look they look okay that's perfect for that's gonna be for this video so in the next video I think we want to be to be able to pick this up and also to be attached to that socket so and also we want to keep an equip too so and also need to be replicate re, uh, replicate replicate for the multiply it so thank you for watching and yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next video so bye bye